weren't in the entertainment industry, what would I do day to day? I've always loved working with computers. So I used to, I used to build computers when I, was, when I was in high school. I would probably love to do that. Funny enough, that's how my journey began. It's like I, I was trying to save up enough money to go to university so that I could study, you know, IT at the time. And then I just carried on working and I haven't stopped since. So now maybe I'll go to university and finally get that degree <laughs> and do that, yeah. I also, I also always wanted to be a salesman. Like I, I, I love helping people, especially when it comes to like buying technology, buying a car, buying it. I hate how uninformed some sales people are and how you walk in and then they don't tell you anything. They don't give you information. They're just trying to give you the product. I like learning about something and then like sharing that information with other people. One day, this was just funny. I actually miss having incidents like this in my life. I was in, uh, I was in Best Buy here in New York. No one knew who I was at all. It was just like, you know, I was coming in from South Africa, I was doing shows and I was in Best Buy and I guess I'd spent a lot of time in one section and this old woman was there looking at laptops and she couldn't figure out which one to go with. And so then I said, hey, is everything okay? And she's like, I'm trying to get a laptop for my grandson and I don't know which one to get him. They're all so different and they're the same. And you know, and so I was like, oh, okay, what is he looking for? He's going to college and I've got this information. We're doing this. Like, okay, what's your budget? Well, okay, what processor speed? Do you care? Does he play games? Does he not play games? What kind of games are we going through this whole thing? We finished it all and we're done. And then she leaves, she's chosen the laptop. And then she goes to like the counter and then they're like, oh, did anyone help you? And she's like, that gentleman over there. <laughs> And then they look at me and they're like, what do you do? And, uh, and now the guy's like, he doesn't work here, ma'am. And now, but they made it feel like I did something. Wrong. I was like, sir, do you, do you give her information? I was like, no, no, guys, it's not, it's not what you think. It's not what you think. Now I'm like running out the store. I'm like, ah, ah. So I would, I, yeah, I would, I'd probably do that. Or I'd be a teacher. That's what I'd be. Yeah, I'd love to like, yeah, just like in school, like with kids, but like, like young kids, you know, not kids who think they know everything. Like teenagers, I would just, we'd fight every day. I'd be boxing, but like, I, I like smoke. Young kids, they're always trying to learn. They don't think they know anything and you can just tell them the craziest shit and they believe you. <laughs> I'll give them 99% real information and then 1% just random shit that I, w I would hope would stick with them in their brains <laughs> so that they say it as an adult at a dinner table because they learned it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So they're like just random at a dinner table, they'd be like, well, you know, I mean, the reason they called frogs is because the sound they make is frog, frog. <laughs> People be like, that's not why they call him. Be like, no, I, I learned that from my teacher, Mr. Noah, in school. And then people be like, let's Google it. And he'd be like, damn you, Mr. Noah! <laughs>